interpreted film and performance project has been produced by New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park. The program was funded by the National Park Service's Lower Mississippi Delta Initiative, an organization that strives to highlight culture and heritage in the Lower Mississippi Delta. Join us as we take a road trip to national parks in the Lower Mississippi Delta. Oakland Plantation is one of two plantations that's part of Cane River Creole National Historical Park, the other being Magnolia. Both plantations sit along the Cane River and they tell a 200-year agricultural story, starting at the colonial era, going through the Civil War, and all the way up until the mid-20th century. When the Prudhomme started this plantation back in the late 1700s, you know, they were some of the first people to grow cotton in this uh, region and, and they were uh, you know quite quite wealthy and then after the Civil War you know times became more difficult and uh, they had to deal with the Reconstruction era and eventually the boll weevil came and there were all kinds of economic ups and downs with you know the Great Depression being the big one and so there were plenty of opportunities where they could have lost the plantation but they found a way to keep it going and that's a tremendous credit to them but they couldn't have done it without all the other people who lived and worked here as well. The National Park Service here uh, in at Cane River has a has a very you know unique role. We we preserve and protect the buildings and we interpret the history and we also work closely with uh, partner organizations you know, being that our park sits within a heritage area that means there's a lot of other entities that uh, that we work with and assist and partner with for, for, for many projects uh, some of which include the Creole Heritage Center at, at Northwestern State University various uh, native tribes around the area um, and just you know ordinary folks who live within the heritage area and they might have a historic building on their property we we help them in uh, in you know understanding you know the resources that, that they have and you know we we play a very important role in preserving and protecting and interpreting the the history here on Cane River Mon negli pati vesce, cus cus a prebrulis. 
So that's a big part of our story here, uh, talking about the evolution of plantation life and agriculture. But another crucial part of our story is uh, interpreting the, uh, the contributions of the Creole people. And depending on who you ask, you might get a different definition of what Creole means, but uh, the most widely accepted definition is that the, the Creoles are descended from Cane River's colonial people. And that's pretty vague because there was a lot of different people here in the colonial time. You had people of French descent and Spanish descent and Native American descent and African descent. And with all those people living together, a unique culture evolved out of that. And that culture is still thriving along Cane River today. And you know, in our park, along with the history of the plantations themselves, we talk about the language and food and music and architecture and religion of the, the Creole people that lived and still live in this area. Whether they be privately owned, state owned, or federal, they all are part of the story here on Cane River. And so the park and the heritage area do have a, a very rich history uh, to tell here. <laughs> 